Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be working on my budget. I know a lot of you enjoy these videos and it is time to share once again because it's the beginning of June. How exciting, right? So, in the very beginning of each month, I like to use these from Erin Condren. Um, these are just the like long sticky notes that they have. I think they have a couple of different um, style versions. This was the ones that they came out with last year. So every month I put a long sticky note and if something is coming up that I need to allocate for expense wise, I will put on my little sticky notes. So I am gonna be going to Alaska this month. I'm so excited. I'm leaving on the 19th and then I'm not coming back until the 2nd of July. So I'm gonna be gone for two full weeks. And um, Doyle has a vet visit, I believe it's on the 5th. So I have to allocate for that as well. So let's get into the fun. So I figured since I am going to Alaska, I would do my budget with this cute little anchor washi. Of course, it's from my shop, shameless plug. The link is below. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love this washi. I think it's so freaking cute. So much fun. Okay. There we go. There is that. And then I want to use some of these stickers from Erin um, Condren. I might be using some of these as well. Um, these are just like more of the travel ones also from Erin Condren. I'm not sure which ones I wanna use first. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. We are gonna figure it out. However, I need a different pen because this is a marker and it's gonna bleed through the pages. Uh, even though I don't use the other pages, it's gonna drive me a little nuts. So let me get a new marker that won't bleed. All right, the closest thing to me was this. This is the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the 07. I believe it's linked below. So that's what's gonna happen. So I think we're gonna do a similar layout as last time, but you know. Whatevs. I'm gonna put my bills right here and I like to just list my bills, just makes my life easier. So I kind of know what's going on. And I'll put my budget like this. Oh, just to let you guys know, this book, if you are so interested, is um, an Erin Condren, but it is the monthly, sorry, deluxe monthly planner. I always get that like, inverted, I always say monthly deluxe, but it's the deluxe monthly planner. And um, the nice thing about it here, I'll use this next month here, is we have like the July pages here, you have a month view, and then you've got some notes pages, and then it goes right in to August. So it's like way, way smaller than the regular life planners. So if you're someone that just really wants a month view and then some notes pages, this is a great um, alternative for you. I can't talk today. Alternative. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a great alternative for you if you don't want all of the weekly pages. Um, but I like to use it for my budget. Just makes my, you know, makes my brain turn a little bit better. So let me put in all of the information that I need to and I'll flip through this because this is going to be boring stuff. <laughs> So here are all my basic set expenses. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. There are a couple of them on here that are estimates. So my house payment is $451.38. My HOA is $158. My gas is $28. My water is always an estimate of $54. It ranges between like 53 to 56 or something like that. So whatever. Um, my Culligan uh, is 32.65. My electrical is an estimate. I did bump it up a little bit from last month just because um, it has been really warm here. So I've been running my air conditioning. So that is gonna be a little bit higher this month. Um, it hasn't been running all the time, obviously, but you know, it's just running a little bit more. Um, my garbage is a set expense at $17.85. My Wi-Fi um, and cable is $114.60. Uh, my cell phone bill is $88.52. My auto insurance is $85.42. My Cobra, which is my health insurance, is $315.09. And then my Netflix is $11.75. So let's calculate all these things and then um, we'll stick her in. So we are at $1,442.26. So let's put that bad boy in. Oh, whoops, I kind of messed up. I was kind of trying to go off the format I did last month. So let's let's change this up a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna use a sticker 
and uh, cover that up. See, everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> All right, we'll put that in there. This is gonna be the final total calculation. I forgot. I wanted to do it a little bit differently this time. All right, so I wanna put my total down at the bottom here. All right, so as for my like fuel and grocery, which is kind of like the things that I tend to not overspend. I overspend in grocery for sure. Like that's my like trigger point. I think a lot of people have that issue with food. Um, and then fuel, eh, whatever. It's just kind of, it is what it is. So let's put that in there. And fuel is going up quite a bit, but I'm still gonna stay at $100, um, mainly because I still am not like working outside the home. So if that happens, then I will obviously bump that up. And then for grocery, usually I budget like 50 bucks a week or so, but I am going on vacation to Alaska, so I don't think I'm gonna have that much for my grocery budget. I think I'm gonna budget like 150 this month. Um, and then that's it. I don't think I wanna do more than that because I won't be here for two weeks, which will be really, really fun and really, really good, so. Yeah. All right, and then the fun part begins. Ta-da, Alaska. So let's put in some Alaska budgeting. And this one, I think I'm gonna get some cash out for, so I'm gonna use my little like, get your cash money out, honey, kind of <laughs> sticker here. So the actual cruise is already paid for. However, um, I still need, well, which is, the thing that isn't paid for yet are the excursions. So, like I said, my mom is the one that's kind of orchestrating this, so she's estimating that it's gonna be around $650 for each person for the excursions. So, um, I'm gonna get that written in here. It could be a little higher, it could be a little bit lower. And then I'm just gonna put down like cash, basically that's gonna be just like miscellaneous money. Like if I wanna buy something or I don't know. Um, because all of our other stuff on the ship is paid for and yeah, I I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna buy a ton of souvenirs, but I will want to have that leniency if I need, you know, some cash. So, let's get this all totaled up. And I'm gonna use one of these little travel stickers from Erin Condren, because why not? And it's super cute. Travel around the globe, y'all. Travel around that globe. As for all of my bills for the month of June is gonna be $2,442.26. I don't really have anything else that's coming up that I can think of. Oh, you know what? I do. I've got Doyle's stuff. Dang it. Okay. Hold on, Doyle's gonna get his own category and then we're gonna, we're gonna mess with that again. See, this is what happens. I like mess up all the time, you guys. <laughs> all right, so Doyle, his vet visit. Um, it's hard to determine how much his vet visit is, but I'm just gonna say it's gonna be $100. It's just his annual exam. And then um, he needs his prescription. So that's usually around $80. Let's get Doyle figured out. I. I would hate to be doing this and editing and going, oh no, I forgot Doyle. <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear that. He'll be very upset with me if he hears that. <laughs> Whoops. So, let's, let's redo this again. <laughs> you know, one of these days, I'm gonna get this right, you guys. All right, let's just put another, we'll put a sticker on a sticker, just like epic layering, yes. Here we go. Oh, whoopsie doopsie, it's all right. So now my monthly total is $2,622.26. I actually also have these really cute little stickers. I got them off of Etsy. I think you can just buy them at some like shops and stuff too of these cute little Shebas. So I'm gonna put this Put this right here, because, you know, little Doyle dogs. 
All right, so that is my budget for June 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like. I will leave my money talk playlist below, which is the playlist that I use for all of my budgeting content and all of my financial content. So if you're interested in anything else, feel free to check out that link and watch if you'd like. But I'm gonna let you guys go for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.